Shipping paintings, how do you make boxes like this? I'm going to show you for an 18 by 24 canvas. First thing I do, wrap in brown paper. Next up, bubble wrap. So with bubble wrap, I'm going across both axes and I want to make a nice seal. So I'm trying to avoid getting any moisture in there at all. And then taping down the extras on the two widest pieces, I'll leave it a little bit over so I can tape those sides down. Now cardboard, recycled Amazon boxes are great. And the first thing I wanna do is to make my corners. So I'm gonna take a piece and I'm gonna scroll across it, score across it, so I can make these folds. And make it about the size of the painting with the bubble wrap and there's your first corner. I'm gonna tape that into place. And there we go, the first corner is complete. And now again, I'm scoring the card. Don't wanna press on too hard, I don't wanna cut all the way through it, but I'm making a nice box corner there. On it goes and tape it into place. And again, just trimming this to the right size and I'm gonna score it across one mark and then another mark to about the width of the piece, including the bubble wrap to make a nice box corner. And there we go. It takes a little bit of practice, of course, scoring the card. You don't want to uh, cut it completely and you don't want your lines to be all wobbly. Taping it down giving yourself secure, strong corners for the box. And of course, making it to the right size of the painting cuts down on your shipping costs because you're paying for the weight and you're paying for the size. And the final corner in place. There we go, nice corner edge. And I always try and fold the card so any printing stays on the inside. Then you have a nice clean piece on the outside using two types of um, tape, packing tape and then a strapping tape afterwards. Sometimes you might need a little bit extra. Look at this piece here. So just to find some off cuts of card, just trim that down to roughly the right size. You don't have to be too exact here because your final tape, the strapping tape, is gonna cover all these edges as well. So there we go, all the corners are done. Now I just need two more pieces of card to cover the centers. And you want them just a little bit smaller than the centers because you're gonna tape all the way around. You seal that center down, first of all with the packing tape and the strapping tape is gonna be at the end. And the other side, another piece here to cover up the center. Kind of push it down as flat as possible to hold it into place. You can always add more tape around the centre sections if you need to, like I've done there, and both sides are covered. And finally, with the strapping tape, and this is just one final secure piece that I like to use just to make sure it is waterproof on the edges, that there's no gaps or areas where the cardboard is loose. And there we go. One box made, happy days.